we would be up late at night and we'd be searching the static for CKLW. KDKA TV2, WLS in Chicago, KYW in Cleveland. I used to love the the local news, of course, even as a kid, which is really weird. Uh, Waze Radio, W-A-Y-S, that was the, the big radio station that introduced me to rock and roll. The station ID is a legal requirement by the FCC that's supposed to tell the listener or viewer where your station is and what it's about. This will soon be a real live television studio. Ron Mile had a vision to start a Christian TV station in one of the smallest markets in the nation. People said you can't build a TV station. I remember TV 44 getting started and it was basically in our dining room. It was like an old rundown building and I'm thinking we're gonna turn this into a station. We had a lot of opposition from the Christian. It's tough to talk about. We've been praying for this ministry, for the success of this ministry. Is it Lima? Is it Lima? We didn't know what we couldn't do then. Yeah, it was bold. It was risky. Ready one, take one. I've been out of God's will. I've been in God's will. You'll know it when you are. And if he gives you a job to do, do it. And this was a new concept for local Christian television. We need this television station to be on the air. We really wanted to meet the needs of the people in ways that met them where they were. We're looking at ourselves through that lens saying, we need to do better. But we want to figure out how can we use this technology to be an asset for the community. I mean, this is my dream come true. I love sports and I love the idea of sharing my faith. Those people there are production animals. I saw these programs coming in from Channel 44 that I thought were incredibly unique, that were different from what everybody else was doing. I can't believe that it actually happened in this field, in the middle of Ohio, with the smell of pig farm 